Let's begin with an overview of the appendicular skeleton. As we mentioned, the human skeletal system is divided into the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton facilitates human movements, such as walking and sitting down. The appendicular skeleton is made up of supports known as the pectoral girdle, the pelvic girdle, and the bones of the upper and lower extremities. The appendicular skeleton includes the following bones. Number one, the bones of the upper and lower arm and the pectoral girdle. The pectoral girdle includes the clavicle bone and the scapula bone, and these connect the upper limb to the axial skeleton. Number two are the bones of the lower extremity and the pelvic girdle. The pelvic girdle is made up of two hip or coxal bones, and these bones are part of the pelvis along with the coccyx and sacrum, and the pelvis protects the reproductive organs and a developing fetus in pregnant females. The skeleton and the upper extremity. This anterior and posterior view depict the bones in the different regions of the pectoral girdle and the upper and lower arm. The pectoral girdle is made up of the clavicle and scapula. The upper arm is the humerus. The forearm is the radius and ulna. In the wrist there are eight carpal bones and the hand is made up of five metatarsals and 14 phalanges. The skeleton and the lower extremity. This anterior and posterior view depict the pelvic girdle and the lower extremity. The pelvic girdle is made up of the two hip bones. The upper leg is the femur. The knee joint is the patella, femur, and tibia. The lower leg is the tibia and fibula and the ankle is made up of seven carpal bones. The foot contains five metatarsal bones and 14 phalanges.